so I can get out and be sassy. <laughs> Ridiculous. Hey guys, I'm Jessica Roth and this is Precious Metals with Marie Claire. Come on in, let's do it. Today, I'm gonna give you a little peek into my personal jewelry collection and share some pieces that have a lot of sentimental and emotional value to me. If I were to describe my own personal jewelry style, I would have to say it's pretty minimalist. <laughs> I am drawn to things generally that are very small and delicate. I really like having jewelry that I can wear for any occasion all of the time, uh, whether it's jeans and a t-shirt or to a party. The first piece I'm gonna share with you is my wedding ring. So I am very newly married. <laughs> I was supposed to be married in July with about 200 people and a huge dance party and lots of food and hugging and kissing. And obviously because of Corona, that couldn't happen safely. So we scaled it down and we just um, got married about two weeks ago with a really, really small, um, intimate group of our closest friends and family. And everybody else zoomed in and to be totally honest, I wouldn't have changed a single thing. Another thing that made the day really special was this ring. So this ring belonged to my grandmother, to my mother's mother. Whenever I see this ring or put it on, I remember her and I remember how she made me feel. I feel so lucky that I inherited this ring and I can't wait for the day when I get to pass it down to my daughter or my granddaughter and to share that history with them. This is the ring box that my husband proposed to me with. He made it out of a piece of aspen, which is a tree. Um, and he actually proposed in the grove that this piece of aspen was from. And I really love that whenever I go on a job, I can put it in its special home. And I know that it's waiting safely for me. So there's a lot of love in this box. And I love that. My next piece is another family heirloom. It actually belonged to my other grandmother. This is a Star of David, for those of you who don't know. My grandmother was this incredibly big personality with such a huge heart. And I remember sitting on her lap and reaching up and playing with it. And it always gave me so much comfort and so much joy. And it came to really be symbolic of who she was as a person. And when she passed away and this was passed down to me, I felt so lucky because it feels like such a big part of my memory of her. The beautiful thing is when I wear both of these pieces, I feel such a sense of connection to the amazing women who came before me. Grandma power. To be totally honest, the other reason I wear really small stuff is I don't feel like I can pull off the really cool big pieces. Like I love when I see someone walking down the street and they're wearing just layers of chunky necklaces and cool stacks of vintage rings and giant earrings and they have like 50 ear pierces. But the cool thing about being an actress is whenever I'm cast in a role that feels like someone who would wear a lot of jewelry or have a different style from mine, not only does it help me kind of step into their skin and get a sense of their tone and their vibe, but I kind of get to play like an alter ego of myself that's a total badass, so I'll take it. <gasps> These totally wild, crazy glitter disco ball earrings, which were a gift from one of my dear friends. And they are the perfect present because they are something I would have never bought for myself because again, I would have thought they were too big and too flashy, but she believed I can pull them off, which gave me the faith that I could pull them off. And every time I see them, I think of her. If I'm having a bad day and I need a little pep up, I can put these on and they <laughs> make me smile or they're the perfect earrings to go dancing in because not only are they disco balls of rainbow, but they are light and they don't pull down on my poor little delicate ears. So I can get out and be sassy. This is a wooden ring. So when my now husband and I started dating, we dated long distance for a long time, which was really hard. But 
he made me a ring very much like this and sent it to me and I loved it because I could wear it and think of him and feel close to him. But then one day I was I think I was opening a door and it cracked and it shattered and I broke down in tears and called him and I said, I broke the ring, I'm so sorry. And he said, Jessica, it's wood. That's what happens. And about a week later, I got a care package and there were like 10 of these in it. Um, and so not only do I treasure them because he made them, but just the, the thought and the effort he put in it and the memories it gives me from that time in our relationship that were really hard, but that got us to where we are now. This is a locket. My dad gave this to me when I was in high school. And one of the reasons it's so special to me is because I thought I lost it for a really long time. I was living in New York and dating this guy and I helped him move out of his apartment. And while I was doing that, I took my necklace off because I guess I was afraid of breaking it or getting it dirty, I don't know why. But like a total idiot, I think I put it on like a bookshelf that needed to be moved or the ground and I lost it. And I was devastated and I asked him to ask his roommates and no one seemed to know where it was. And then we broke up. And so I was like, oh, well that's obviously gone because I never want to call him again or speak to him. So I'm sacrificing this necklace. <laughs> but flash forward about seven years, and I was at a party in Los Angeles and one of the roommates was there from this ex-boyfriend and he came up to me and said, Jessica, I have your necklace. I've kept it for seven years because I remember how much you loved it and how much it meant to you. And I just thought it was so sweet that he held on to it for all of that time. Um, I found it incredibly moving. So this is the locket that once was lost, but now is found. Another piece that means a lot to me is this little simple necklace. It says tree. This is the necklace that I wore in Happy Death Day 1 and 2. And whenever I work on a job, I love if they'll let me keeping a tiny piece from the character, whether it's a piece of wardrobe or a piece of jewelry. And I just had such an incredible time on this shoot and I learned so much about myself and I made friends that I'll have for the rest of my life. So. This means a lot. Guys, we did it. We looked at all the jewelry. Good on us. Thank you so much for hanging out and thank you to Marie Claire. Be sure to subscribe with the button somewhere on this screen somewhere uh, so that you can get more videos like this and other fun content. Also, be sure to check out Utopia on Amazon Prime. It is wild and crazy and dark and twisted and unlike anything you've ever seen before. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. Bye.